So compensation, it's such a crucial term for you to understand. And sorry if I'm going to repeat myself, but compensation versus correction, okay? And the difference is, compensation is what? What does it mean? Do something in, like, um, something and something uh, and, wait, like, Increase or decrease something different in response, in response to, yes. to go back to Yeah, yeah, in a way, trying to push it back, but there's a failure of one system, and another one is trying to like help the system to somehow compensate the thing, okay? Everyone, it's very general, it's not always like 100%. You don't have to be so much philosophical about these things, but basically, it's we're talking about compensatory reactions. And the in, in contrast to this term correction, okay? So that, that means the same system sort of, sort of deals with it. But again, you can mount it for everything in the body, but you'll get a pretty good idea what is compensation, especially the term compensation in our case, okay? And if I'm having anemia, and we didn't do this, didn't we? So if I'm having anemia, okay? I'm having anemia, which means what? Low hemoglobin, very good, that's totally, or you can say low erythrocytes, or you can say low hematocrita, but hemoglobin is the best thing, okay? So basically, if you have below 100 grams per liter, it's anemia, obviously. You know that men have higher hemoglobin than women, and the reason why that is, there are many explanations, who knows? One of them that the women bleed every month, et cetera. It's an advantage to have it less, to be more diluted in a way, because, you know, especially during pregnancy, really like all of them are like anemic a bit, because maybe you're not clotting as much, who knows? But anyways, if I'm having serious anemia, what would be the compensation for anemia? It's increased respiratory rate, exactly. Why? Because I'm having anemia. In one liter of blood, I'm able to stack less oxygen than normally. So the solution to this is breathe more. But what else? There are more things. So what else happens? I'm having anemia. Increased heart rate. Okay, very good. What else? Okay, okay, but now with the ferritin and these things, it would rather... Erythropoietin. Why not erythropoietin in this case? Um, rather, I would consider that as correction, okay? Because you're dealing with the same system, get it? But I'm going to deepen the thing on equal for you, okay? Because you're going to have hematology or you already have, I don't know. So, anemia. And... First of all, when you say EPO, erythropoietin, it would be rather correction. And what happens, okay, I'm having anemia, of course, if everything works fine, when the EPO will be high, for example? In uh, response to hypoxia. Okay, so in response to hypoxia, although if it's hypoxia due to what? If it's hypoxic hypoxia, look at that, now we can play with the compensation. If it's hypoxic hypoxia, that means what? Where's the problem? In the lungs or in the air. So I would consider this that I'm boosting up erythrocytes as a compensation. Yeah, get it? So the, the problem is within the lungs and I'm compensating it with that's great. So so in this case I would take it as a compensation. But if the problem is anemia, because uh, whatever, then Increased EPO would be rather correction. But yeah, basically it doesn't, doesn't mean that you need to be like so precise with the definition of what is compensation. You just have to realize like, if I'm like rather more towards compensation or towards like staying with the same system, okay? But you don't have to be like so much stressed about that. But the important thing is, and what I want to tell you, and you, you could realize that Typically, compensatory reactions in general are the ones you will like as a doctor when someone ill comes to you. And, and that's when it rings the bell because if someone has tachycardia or tachypnea or whatever, it's suspicious always, okay? 
sometimes it's like, what do you call like you have to breathe? We talked about it. Earlier, but you're yes. heavy. Ear hunger. If you're dismaying, that's very suspicious. But the reason why someone is dismayed, there are a thousand causes why you can be dismayed. You can have something with lungs. You don't have to have enough oxygen in the air, or we're going to come to that. But there are many. You can be anemic, of course. Yeah. But still, with EPO, okay, to like deepen your knowledge on EPO. So it, it's released from where? Ma majorly. Yeah, well, kidney. That's fine for me, okay. You don't have to be so specific about it. From kidneys, but like it's all it's released all around the body, but majorly from kidney. And when EPO is high, what will be triggered then? What's the because EPO is like a order of of what of erythrocytes. We're sending an order to where to the to, to the bone marrow, and you produce more erythrocytes. Can you tell me out of blood? that there is a fresh production, increased production of new erythrocytes. Can you tell me what you will check in the blood? Regular, level of reticulocytes, and its percentage, and it should be higher. Reticulocytes are not fully developed erythrocytes, still like a teenager, okay? So we call it reticulocyte. And if the percentage is increased, you can deduce what you can guess out of that. But what this tells you also, that the production in the bone marrow is sort of okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So basically, if reticulocytes are high, you know it's a response to equal, and you know that the production, the production side is rather okay. So whether you can guess that the problem which triggered the anemia was in the, on the other hand, so there was increased destruction, okay? Yeah, get it? Mm -hmm. So, and what could be that? When I will lose erythrocytes, so it could be by, there are many causes again, but if you want to be general, bleeding. bleeding, obviously. So if I bleed one and a half liter, and they will give me infusion of uh, crystalloids, I, I'll, I'll have anemia. And very soon or immediately, kidneys will produce EPO and ask for more of erythrocytes or hemolysis. Yeah, very good. So, so and this could be autoimmune, this could be mechanical, whatever. Okay. Good. But what if I'm having anemia and the reticulocytes, when they're going to be low? That means there's something with production. And in this case, EPO is going to be high, obviously, but it's not efficient. Okay. So it could be in any plastic anemia, it could be in the myelofibrosis, it could be in leukemia. So don't forget, if you have leukemia, what does it mean, leukemia? It means that the percentage of the blasts in the bone marrow is increased over 20%. So if you do a bone marrow puncture, there's going to be too much of myeloblasts, okay? Anyways. Low reticulocytes mean, and if you're having anemia, there's, the, there's something with production. High means there was an increased destruction. Can you tell me the case where EPO is decreased, and that's why you're having anemia, when this happens? And you should really know this. Every time, think about it. It should be connected now in your mind. When EPO is low, when this happens. Maybe there is some problem with the kidney. You are very right. What, what is that? It's the end stage renal disease, remember. It's because when you're failing, like end stage, that means dialysis, basically. If you're failing with kidneys, that means that you're not clearing, you're not filtering the blood as you should. You should you're not getting rid of creatinine, urea, and whatever. But also, you're not producing any hormones. And remember, with end stage random disease over here, there are many things you should, they're combined to it. You should just remember end stage renal disease, there's going to be decreased EPO, so I'm going to have anemia. All the wastes of blood that should be normally like washed out are not, so everything increases, especially think of creatinine that's increased. Creatinine is the marker of, let's say, filtration rate and whatever, okay? 
and what else? So the kidneys are failing in all ways. So they will be failing in the endocrinological way as the apo. But what else is over there important? And that's why it's always connected. Okay, of course, you're right. In general, but within the hormone, there's important conversion of one hormone, calcidiol to calcitriol. Okay, so remember also, so calcitriol, vitamin D, so you're going to have problems with calcium. Okay, yeah? Okay, so remember that this is how kidneys are related to calcium metabolism. Remember that way. So remember, anemia, remember calcium metabolism. Yeah? Creatinine. Why is creatinine is high? You should be getting rid of creatinine. Mm -hmm. yeah, because the muscles are getting rid of it. Normally you're getting getting rid of Master it. The creatinine is high in the blood. In the blood, yeah. Okay. In the blood. Everything is in the blood. So and calcium will be then decreased because you're not producing calcitriol. Calcitriol is the most powerful absorbent of of calcium from enzymes and also of course in kidneys, but now they're failing, doesn't matter. Okay, and, and EPO is going to be decreased, you're going to have anemia. And remember one important thing if you want to treat anemia, the only anemia when you can use EPO basically is that you can try that and EPO can help. In other kinds of anemias, it won't help. Okay, as we, as we stop. So in case of end stage renal disease, you can use EPO to help the treatment. Okay, to fight the anemia. And in the other cases, it won't help because. It's because you have lo lots of EPO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there is a hemolysis, you're gonna have so much of it. So, yeah. And in the other one, yeah. In all other cases, there's lots of EPO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So only in a state renal disease, there's not enough people. That's why you can use a treatment. Use it as a treatment. So, but that was anemia and EPO, and this is rather correction. But where I'm aiming today, and I want to, again, like merge your knowledges or interlink the knowledges, you know, is that compensation, crucial thing. And basically, the, the thing you should understand is that, like, what is it all about all the organs? Maybe except brain, because you want to think, you know, you want to like do something, I okay? guess. But all the other organs are about what? We can be more general and say everything is about cells. So basically all the organs are trying to what? Cells the ATP. So what, what you're doing is you're bringing energy sources, you're bringing oxygen and nutrients to the cells, to the tissues. And if this is not working, you're having a problem, okay? Basically, all the system, all the organs, like GIT tract and, and lungs and its circulation, it's about bringing nutrients and oxygen to the tissues. So the, the thing we're aiming is this triangle where you can put, and it's a triangle and these are two triangles. These are lungs, by the way. These are lungs. This is erythrocyte. So blood. That's aorta. Okay, so obviously this is heart. Okay. And we got this triangle here. And let's give the example of anemia, okay? So what I'm having now is decreased erythrocytes. I'm having anemia. So what would be the compensatory reaction, compensation? Well, obviously you said it, so tachypnea. Okay, so I'm going to breathe faster. And I'm going to run the heart faster because in one liter, I'm not able to transport as much of oxygen. So the solution to this is run it faster. So I'm running it faster and because the blood goes faster through the lungs, I want to also oxygenate it faster. Okay. Yeah. So very simple. Okay. Everyone understands this. Okay. So every time you're having anemia, you're having also tachycardia. Yeah. And we're going to come back to this later. But still, hey, if I'm having something with oxygenation, as we talked about it, 
So if I'm having ARDS, for example, acute respiratory distress syndrome, as COVID does very well. In this case, so this is down, that would be down. I'll make it green. So if this is down, then this will go up because I'm having hypoxia, my kidneys are hypoxic, so they will produce EPO, and the heart will pump faster. And again, if my heart is failing, what happens? I will be dyspneic, I will, I, I will try to, again, so if the heart is failing, so then this will go up, and this will go up as well because I'm having hypoxic kidneys, EPO. And the thing is, this is what you see when someone comes to your office. He will be dismayed. He will brief like, you know, you're dismayed when if you run 100 meters, but these guys are just sitting here and like if they would be running 100 meters, okay? So, so it's hard. They, they have air hunger and you know it's suspicious. You check their pulse and it's high, okay? And we'll come to the pulse very soon, but... You got it? Basically, these compensatory reactions are the fingers that point that there's something with the person, okay? And there's one more thing, like the ultimate one, and maybe we talked about it last time, is the brain. If the brain is well perfused, the person will be able to count, will be oriented in time and in person. If the person is confused, one of the reasons could be like hyperperfusion. So and watch out, alcohol, this mass very much. So never underestimate someone you think is like, you know, in some kind of ebriety or what do you call it? Ebriety? Yeah, well, full of alcohol. And it could be like mass, you know, he could have some heart problems or whatever. So, so never underestimate. It's, it's like alcohol can like really uh, confuse you. So it's better... Or, for example, head trauma. If someone has head trauma, you're not seeing any lesions, and he's uh, he's on alcohol as well. Better do a CT to be sure that he's yeah okay. Okay, so everyone's clear with the compensation, and we'll come to this back. But what I want to deepen now is so. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.